welcome to today's live show day 16 yep yep <laughs> wow it's 16 days already wow 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 this is amazing yeah it's really really amazing to me as a person i can't really believe i can be doing this consistently for 16 days not stop i'm so proud of myself yep 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 <laughs> so today our team today is on inspirational support and our topic is going to be overcoming your mind yes who is excited thank you for joining thank you thank you thank you for joining first this is first this this i want to say to myself it's not what happened that holds you back but your judgmental belief about it meaning it's not what is happening around you it's not what people is thinking of what you can do it's not the event happening around you that is affecting you but first what is happening here and it's affecting your heart that you hold on to your mind and you believe on your head that yes this is it with this i can't move forward now let, let me this there's this quote by napoleon hill says if you don't conquer self if you don't conquer self you will be conquered by self meaning if you cannot overcome your mind if you cannot convince your mind overcome your mind engineer your mind to what you can do and to what you cannot then your mind will conquer you so we all want to be free but we are unable to be free because what freedom is overrated you may ask me why your most significant challenge lies within you not the people around you not the event around you let me cite an example if a prison inmate is being released from prison there's this anxiety of fear and belief in them that how will the society accept them? How will the people believe them? How do they want to relate with people? How will their communication with people be? This, remember, this is what is going on on their head. An awful time, some people may not even give a damn of what they are coming from. Some may even move from that city completely to a different place. But that anxiety and fear in there that, yes, I am an ex-convict, is still there. Nobody is seeing it, but it lies in their mind, is their brain and in their mind. And that is holding them back from moving forward. And that is the major reason of why most of us is difficult for us to progress into our success and achieve it we all suffer from this even myself because we believe i can't do it i'm not good enough what will people say uh, maybe it may not come out right maybe i can't even speak the right word i have tough time sitting in front of people talking to people that is, I have a very serious tough time. In fact, I can't even believe I'm doing this. I have tough time talking to a group of people because I believe my word is not going to come out right. I believe my grammar is just going to be over the face. I believe, no, maybe I'm not thinking like them. I believe their level of understanding is different from mine. I believe, okay, because we didn't go to the same school, my standard of education is lower. I believe, okay, maybe we're not of the same class. Our parents are different, so I, I, I can't relate with them. We can't be on the same level. Or, in fact, there was a time, my skin was a big problem for me. Because when I heard, ah, uh, the fair people are more attracted, they are more acceptable in the society. And I key on to this, that, oh, which means because if I'm not fair, and I'm honest, and I have a small size, it's going to be difficult for me to even get married. It's going to be difficult for me to relate with people. It's going to be difficult for me to have friends. It's going to be difficult for me to even get a job. I was in this shell for a very long time. And I have to start bringing out myself out of this shell little by little. I know 
this does not really define me. I need to accept my skin for the color I have. I need to start accepting, yes, don't, nobody even give a damn about me. <laughs> I think there was a day I was, I was relating with my sister, like, and she said to me, you don't even know how much I cherish your skin. I was like, really? And she's a fair person. I'm like, really? I didn't tell her anything because she doesn't even know what I'm battling with. I'm like, oh, look at me trying to be fair like you. And <laughs> here you are, I'm admiring my skin. I'm like, what an irony. And then I just, it's just done on myself. You know what? If you don't appreciate what you have, if you don't accept who you are, nobody will. You just need to accept who and what you are. That is just it. And that is the, the self-belief that is holding a lot of us back from moving forward. So, now I want to share with you a step that we steps for us to overcome the self-belief and overcome our mind. Don't try to be happy if you want to be truly happy. You may say, how does that sound? A lot of us are trying to be happy. And you say, don't try to be happy. If you the truth is, yes, if you truly want to be happy, you can't force yourself to be happy. Hello, sis. Hello, coach. You can't force yourself to be happy. You need to be truly happy for who you are and for what you have. Your pursuit of happiness can quickly turn into obsession. If there's something you are actually going after, and you think, if this thing happens, that's what is going to make me happy. What if that doesn't happen? If it doesn't happen, which means in, in the process of you trying to pursue your happiness, it has turned into a sudden event for you. So, which means you can't actually pursue happiness. You can't say, I want to be happy. If I get this car, I'll be happy. If I get to this position, that will make me happy. You get to that position, you definitely you're going to look for something else. Or definitely you didn't get it. So you need to just deliberately be happy with every situation, everything around you. You need to just appreciate your life, your time, your motion, your, the little you have, the people around you, yourself. Appreciate God for your life. Appreciate yourself for what you have. A lot of people are looking up to be just like you. And you're here yeah, saying, mm, mm, mm. come on. Be happy and appreciate it. For you to be truly be happy, you need to start appreciating yourself. The moment you start accepting and appreciating yourself, the true happiness comes. No one can take that from you. Nothing can take that from you. It's not an eventful thing. It's not a physical thing. Because the happiness comes within. It's not based on things. So happiness is a byproduct, not a goal. It's not something you'll be pursuing. And when I, <laughs> do you understand me? Start appreciating small things in your life. Number two, stop blaming others. If you truly want to overcome your mind, stop blaming others for what happened. What others do is on them. And how you react to it is on you. If somebody to tell you bad, your action back to that person, you can control that. You can either revenge or you can either show back and be happy. Because the process of saying, I, I must pay back, you're hurting yourself. You're not hurting that person. Yeah, you, may, you, you may enjoy that moment a bit. That yes, you, 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 you see the sadness, the pain in the person's eye for that moment. But that's just for a period of time. So, stop blaming others for everything that happens in your life. You need to start taking responsibility for your life and how you react to those events matters. So when you start blaming, you start owing your life course. You start knowing how you want your life to truly be. Number three, adapt as water. <laughs> Fight what you can change and don't go your way. Only Oh, don't, don't go outside your way because the moment you're trying to go outside your way you you only get drained and get stuck because what you cannot change you can't change it you will only keep draining after you drain yourself mentally physically even financially 
even socially, you find that you just get stuck. You get stuck with where you are. You can't move forward. You just feel the whole world is crashing on you. The whole world is rejecting you. The whole world is repelling you. So, adapting to reality doesn't mean giving up on your goals. Mm -mm. The truth is, when you stop, boom, like tripled, almost fall off. The truth is, when you stop fighting your losses, you can focus your energy on what, on what you can change, on things to come. On things that matters because when something is lost it's lost stop going over it and mounting your mind disturbing your mind roaming over it and hey, if this thing will be this will be, my life will be this my life will be that it's done it's done you can't change it you can't reverse it so focus your energy on things that matter and just let it go stop overthinking and jump what do i mean by stop overthinking and jump well you know you need to do something Stop overthinking about it, analyzing it, put it up straight at diagonal. It's not a bit to just take up what you need to do at that moment and take action. You're there trying to overanalyze it, overthinking, uh, giving a reasonable analysis that does not really exist, that is not even going to add value to you. So jumping into action is easy once you stop thinking about it. Because in the process of you practicing what you are doing, you become master of it. The moment you start looking beyond what you, can, you can't do, that because you don't have the ability to do this, you don't think you can do it. The moment you start doing it, in all time, you become master of it. The first time I started this Facebook challenge, the first day, I was panicking under my skin. I was sweating vigorously like Christmas goats. Today, I'm more calmer. I'm more relaxed. Because I've been doing this for two weeks now. And the same energy I had the first day is different from the kind of energy I have today. Because I was actually panicking, seriously panicking. <laughs> and I'm still getting better. I'm not, even, I, I, I'm not calling myself, but every day I'm getting improved on it. I'm seeing what I need to improve. Oh, I think I can do this better. If you notice since two days now, I started, the, the, the frame of my video have changed. It was horizontal, now I put it diagonal. Because every day I get to learn, I get to know that this is what I'm supposed to do. This is what I need to improve on. But if I've never started this, I will still be thinking there is one big gigantic monster be behind going live on Facebook. <laughs> I think you have to be one professional, you have to be one a journalist, you have to be this, you have to master everything on your head. No, you just need to start. If you don't start, you can't proceed. You can't move beyond that position. That is just it. Stop overanalyzing over issues and just jump at whatever you need to do. Learn to trust your second brain, which is your gut. Just trust your gut. If somebody laughs at you today for doing something not right, we are consistently in view that in, in the long run, the person will come back to you and say, how have you improved? You've really improved. The person will give you a thumbs up. Even though the person doesn't give you a thumbs up, the person definitely knows you've greatly improved on what you're doing. And before you know it, it started generating an income to what you're doing. So never give up. Stop overthinking and jump into action of whatever you need to do. Number five, learn to live with your thoughts, not through them. When you feed your thoughts with negativity, you let the beast take over you. Because whatever you put, you permit in you, begin to grow, has a way of manifesting in your doing, in your action. And 
reflecting in your business, in your daily activities, it affects your relationship, it affects your being, it affects your thinking. It attracts the same energy to you as well. So stop trying to, yes, pound yourself with all this negative energy. No. But look at life through your thoughts or else your thoughts will eat you over life. It just, that's why a lot of people go into depression. Instead of them to learn to live with their thoughts, they are, they, are learning, they, are, they are living through them. They are letting their thoughts to live through them. So you great your thought. Your thought great your intention. And your intention great your reality. Do you understand that? You great your thought. Meaning, what is going on on your head, in your mind. You grated it. You permitted it. You allow it to grow. And your thoughts create your intentions because the more whatever you're thinking will be a deliberate action of what you're supposed to do. And what you're doing becomes a reality of what you practice. So your mind is what is holding you back. Nothingness. And your time for your dream to take over is now. So start living your true self and totally overcome your mind. I'm going to take the point again on how you can overcome your mind. First, don't try to be happy if you truly want to be happy. <laughs> and number two, stop blaming others for your mistakes. Take responsibility and how you react to those things. Take full, absolute, hundred responsibility and calculate your reactions on how it's going to affect your life, your relationship, your job, your career, your children, your family. Think about your reactions to what everything that is happening around you and see how you can turn what is happening around you to your own positive, to your self-gain and not against you. Adapt as water. Don't, don't give up on your dream. But the truth is, when you stop fighting lost battle, you can focus your energy on the real thing that really matters. You'll be able to focus your energy on things that really matters. Instead of moving and saying, oh, yeah, I'll still going back on what you can't change. Thinking, uh, what happened yesterday? What happened 10 years ago? In fact, the amazing, the amazing thing is, what happened 10 years ago? Some people are still holding back to that. Holding on to that. Number four, stop overthinking and start taking actions. Stop overthinking on what you're supposed to do to live your best, to live your good life. Start taking actions. Because overanalyzing and overthinking of that, we not we get to nowhere. Trust your God. Just trust your absolute God and stop overanalysis on what is going to be of a positive effect in your life. Number five, learn to live with your thoughts not true then don't let your thoughts rule your life but control and manage your thought because you great your thoughts your thoughts great your intentions and your intentions great your reality so thank you for your time i hope you'll be able to gain one or two value from this on how you can overcome your mind so uh there's something i want to share with us I'm having a challenge for five days and this is how you can how, how you can present yourself online. It's, 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 it's a paid one. If you want to jump in with me and sit with the masters on this canal, uh, on, on the corner, on the niche of it and see how you can perfect and represent yourself online effectively where you can chat me up or comment on this and I'll reach out to you. So tomorrow is another day and I'm going to be seeing you tomorrow. So till tomorrow. See ya. Bye.